Concentration at equilibrium. For the following reaction, the equilibrium constant is 4.02 at 25 degrees Celsius. The initial concentrations of A, B, and C are 0 0.222, 0 0.444, and 0 0.666 moles per liter, respectively. What will be the concentration of C when an equilibrium is reached at 25 degrees Celsius? In this question, it's clear that we need to use an ice table. First, we can insert the concentrations that were given to us in the question. For the change row, it doesn't matter whether the reaction will go towards the products or the reactants, we will always subtract from the reactants and add to the products. If the reaction happens to move towards the reactants, the x will be negative, that's all. We are looking for the concentrations at equilibrium. Let's write the equation for the equilibrium constant. We can frequently use the 5% rule and save some time by not taking into consideration the subtraction of x. But here, the equilibrium constant is big, and x will probably be fairly big as well, so we will need to include it in our calculations and use the quadratic equation. Using algebra, we can find a, b, and c. We insert these three values into the quadratic equation. We finish with two possible values of x. However, if we try inserting the first answer for the first reactant, we get negative 260 in something moles per liter. This doesn't make any sense because it's impossible to have negative concentration, so we ignore this answer. The second answer makes sense and works for all three compounds in the reaction, so that answer is good. It's absolutely okay to have a negative x value. Now we just need to find the concentration of C at equilibrium. Rounding to three significant digits, the concentration of C is 0.648 moles per liter. As you can see, while moving towards an equilibrium, the reaction was a little bit behind and some product was converted into reactant. If you have extra time during an exam, you can go back and check your answer. To do this, we calculate the equilibrium constant with our new concentrations and verify if we get the same value as we did in the beginning. Even though we weren't asked for them in the question, let's calculate the concentrations of A and B. Now that we know the three concentrations, we can put them in our equilibrium constant equation. If we round to three significant digits, we get 4.02. It's normal to not get the exact answer because there can be slight rounding errors during the calculations. We got an answer extremely close to 4.02, so we can be sure that our answer for the concentration of C was correct.